As the Combat System Director, my primary role is to set the conditions for the success of my team. I've got a lot of engineers and a lot of technicians who are relying on having the right equipment, the right spares, the right tools at the right time to be able to set our systems to work. It's a huge task integrating a combat system. It starts with getting the right people in the right spots. If the ship had no combat system, it wouldn't be much of a destroyer. So I think that having the combat system on board and having it tested and maintained to a high standard gives the customer the best outcome at the end of the project. I know part of the puzzle, but my job is to work with a wide range of people who know all the rest of the pieces and work with them to pull this whole combat system together. I manage a team that looks after everything from installation of weapon systems to the ship platform to switching them on, activating them. Commerce is the backbone of the combat system, so every compartment on the ship will have a communication artifact, be that a voice terminal or a radio. It's pretty important because during an evolution, the captain wants to make a broadcast alarm. The system needs to work. There are 120 unique individuals in my team. Each of them brings a level of enthusiasm, loyalty and pride to the program. I think teamwork is imperative. Working within our team is pretty fun. We can always sort of bounce off each other for ideas and also learn off each other and I think that's the thing I found the most beneficial. I look after the Australian tactical interface on the ship, so the combat system, to make sure that it's operational and maintain it so that we can deliver the product to Navy. We have an amazing relationship with the Australian Navy. On the second ship, Brisbane, we integrated that ship's crew, particularly with our weapons team. My role is to make sure that these destroyers have got a short-range defence protection capability. When you get to that final endpoint of sea trials and your equipment is tracking a, a jet flying in down to the ship when you're out at sea and it's doing everything it needs to do, that's pretty good. To see a ship being commissioned, proved to work and delivered to the Navy and to get the feedback from the crew that the system does work as intended, that's a really satisfying thing to be involved with. The thing that I love the most about the project is the systems that I'm directly responsible for keep our sailors and our ships coming home safe. Never before has the country embarked on integrating so many advanced sensors and systems into a warship and done it on our own soil. We've grown engineers from young graduates through to complex program managers. We proved that we can build ships in Australia from start to finish. We can design the combat system, install it. We've been through the whole life cycle. The capability that we build up and the skill set that we build up amongst our people here is the first time that I've witnessed it in my 18 years of working in defence. Collectively, we've delivered an outstanding product. Every one of them deserves to be proud of what we've delivered to this program, the Navy and the nation.